So let me just show you all a little on the construction here. Uh, this is a observation hive that I've built. I'm going to do at least one classroom session for um, the Montessori school here in town. Uh, so I'm going to take some bees into the classroom for them so the kids can see them, learn about them. We're going to, you know, talk for an hour and a half, two hours, whatever, just have fun. So I'm really excited about it, but I built the hive for that. Uh, first and foremost important is, of course, the entrance closure. Now, I put this on so that basically the day before the class, I'll be able to go out that afternoon, move the queen up here up top where she needs to be. She'll be fine up there for 24 hours, no problem. Move the queen up top, and then that night after dark, I'll be able to go out and just turn this around to ventilate it so no bees can get out. And I'll tighten that screw down so it can't, you know, it's pretty loose right now, but I'll tighten that screw down so it can't accidentally come open. Another really important feature underneath, I don't know if y'all are going to be able to see it or not, but let me see here if I tip it up a little bit for the light. Eh, yeah. Underneath is fully screened. The entire bottom of the box is fully screened. Number 8 hardware cloth, and I'm going to put little feet on here so it'll stand up off the tail about three quarters of an inch so they can get plenty of ventilation. Um, up top, it's glass. 330 seconds glass on this side and glass on the other side over there and it's just big enough to fit one frame as you all will see at the end of the video here so i've got uh these little latches on the end pop up and opening the latches lets me take this lid off so see now you can see the two pieces of glass and the frame sits right down inside there on the bottom is a queen excluder i just cut that off of a 10 frame excluder it worked really well actually because it, it left a piece just wide enough for an eight frame excluder which i only have one eight frame hive that i run but i've got a queen excluder for it now Anyway, so that makes sure that the queen will stay up top, but the attendants will still be able to go back and forth to get honey or do whatever they need to do um, while the queen stays up top for viewing. So let me just put that back on. You can see the underside of it is grooved. So those grooves fit over the glass. So it will just, and it kind of is a worm to wiggle it on there, but once you get it on, excuse the bad camera, but I'm just trying to get, get it latched back down here before I lose something. These latches have got actually little uh, little holes in them too, so I can put little locks on there. I'm not real worried about it, but I don't know. I might, you know, go get some just some little cute decorative locks just to make sure there's no kid that thinks it's going to be funny to walk by and flip a latch up and try to knock the lid off. Hopefully, I'll be in a controlled enough setting in the classroom that I won't have little varmint kids like that, but you never know these days. Anyway, below that, you've got, of course, the four latches. And with that, with the top lid latched, then I can take and I can lift the whole thing off. Whoops, my latch on the other side didn't undone. So I can lift that off just like that. And then of course, you just got your standard hive, which I just drilled the hole out for that entrance. So I've got big old chunks of wood in here. But anyway, it's just a five frame nuke, deep nuke. Um, nothing special about the box itself, other than that full screen on the bottom. But like I said, just wanted to show this to y'all. And I'll have a little bit of here at the video at the end. I'll show you with some bees actually in it. I actually made that video before I made this part, so it'll, I'll probably talk about how I'm, you know, thinking about. I'll, I'll show you a little video about the construction. But the construction was, you know, nothing difficult. I found some plans online, a real rough sketch. Um, I'm not the first one to design this, but I like the design a lot. It's pretty, pretty handy little design, pretty simple to build. So I'm excited about doing it. I'm excited about the class. I just wanted to show it to y'all and. Uh, Share my, you know, share an idea. See if y'all want to build one. I think this might actually be enough too that, you know, when I have friends and family in town, I think I'll load it up the day before I know I'm gonna have friends over and just set it on the, <coughs> set it on the counter or whatever. Just, you know, for more people to see. Heck, I might even, oh boy. Oh boy, I might even take it to work one day. I don't know, I'll ask my manager how he'd feel about that, but he might be, he might be cool with it. He might be cool with it. Well, my, I know my coworkers would love it. They'd have hell with it, but they'd love it. Anyway, like I said, just wanted to show it to you. And uh, if y'all have any questions, comments, it's great. Put them below. Um, please don't ask me where I found the plans. Just Google Observation Hive and you'll find it. Um, and if you look through the pictures, you'll find a one picture that has the dimensions on it. This is not, this is nothing custom. I didn't do anything special except for the Queen Excluder. Everything else is as per the plans that I found online. So y'all can find them. You big kids, I trust you. Well, I just thought I'd show you guys my new favorite toy and or creation if you want. I built me a observation hive. And the reason being, 
I'm going to do a class for uh, some school kids, and I figured it was a lot better than having all them come and try to put on bee suits at the bee yard. I'm going to take this into the classroom and uh, just set it up on the desk and let them enjoy it. So it's designed to fit over a small nuke, uh, a five frame deep nuke, and the reason for that is so that you can pick it up and move it easy. Only one frame is on display, and right now I've got a medium frame. And uh, it just sits, like I said, it sits right on top. I put a queen excluder in the bottom. There's a slot that allows bees to go back and forth to the hive itself, but I put a queen excluder down there so that the queen is guaranteed to always be up top. And if you guys look, she is right, right where that massive blob of pink is um, because I just marked her and I made a mess of her. Now, hopefully the bees don't kill her. Um, they're working on her, and I don't know if they're grooming her. They don't look like they're balling her just yet. And God, I hope they don't kill her because she's a good-looking queen, but... Anyway, I got a little sloppy with the paint because I'm not very good at marking queens and I get nervous and I hurry it and then I use way too much paint. My paint pen dumps out a lot more than I want, so. Anyway, she's marked for now. Oh, she's not moving a whole lot. I'll probably kill her for a little time. I'm really scared now. Anyway, I wanted to show you the, uh, the observation hive as is. Nothing real fancy. I found the plans online. Um, you can find the, the dimensions and everything online. I, I adjusted the dimensions just a little bit, but all it is is, you know, it's just big enough to fit a, a full deep frame up there, and then the two pieces of glass. I picked those up at Lowe's, I think, for like seven bucks a piece. Had them cut, you know, custom cut to fit. I'll put latches on either end to latch this top lid down. See the way it works is this just comes off. You pop that off so you can put a frame in there, and it's grooved so that it fits over the glass and everything, so it all seals up good when I put it on right anyway. Let me get set back on. There we go. So it's grooved so it fits right. So I'll put latches on either end here to hold it down. And then I'll put latches on like here on the box. And then on the front corner of the box as well to hold the, the lid to the latch. But it's cool because it's basically just an add-on. You know, I can grab any one of my nukes that I want to use for this. And they're only in it for a couple hours. And then when I get them home, I just take this lid off, pull that frame out, put it right back in the hive, and they're back to normal like nothing ever happened. So... Anyway, just want to share it with you. I'm excited about it. I'm excited about doing the class for these kids and I uh, hope it all goes well.